Why? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Judgment. Where we left off, we did some of the main mission and it was absolutely glorious. Glorious. It makes me want it glorious. It makes me want it glorious. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is how we're going to do it, huh? Big boy. Big boy, want to go. Big boy, want to go today. Big boy, want to go today. There we go. Enjoy. Get your ass up. I think I was done with your ass yet. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Kia! Kia! I'm not done with you yet. Kia! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Emergency food. Emergency food. Where's my emergency food? Okay, there we go. There we go. We go. We got a lot of good foods here. A lot of good foods. I was injured already. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. Yeah! Go ahead. Do it, boy. And that's how you do it. Even though that one kind of took a minute. That's how you do it. Now, what we was trying to do once again is go to Tender. And I'm not talking about the app. I'm talking about the actual place Tender. And let's see what's going to happen next on the objective of the main mission. Hello, Grandpa. Is this Grandpa? This is Grandpa. Do you have anything for me? You don't. Okay, I still got to continue the main story. Hello. Oh, it's you. Sorry, son. Oh, shit, but the girl is here. This is Mikasan. Oh shit! Hey, I'm Yagami. Mind if I join you? Be my guest. I cover. Wait, why? Isn't she going to find this a little bit odd? This is the man you served six months ago. You're certain? Uh, yeah. That's Did it. you kill him? We already discussed Hashki and Shono. Okay, I'm Mikasan sorry. Mikasan was at their table. Okay. Without a doubt. Okay. My bad. That's Shona-san, right? I just wanted to know if she killed him or not. Yeah. What were they like? I guess nothing stood out about them more than any other pair of businessman types. Hashki-san complained about his boss, while Shona-san just nodded and smiled. What was Hashki saying? Eva, Eva, I saw I show you, Eva. He was going on and on about this Kido-san guy. Have you heard about that new dementia drug, 89? Uh, yeah. I'm kind of familiar. Not surprised. They used to talk about it on TV a bunch. Anyway, apparently Kido-san's kind of a big shot guy on the 89 research team. And Hashiki and Shono were talking shit about him? Yeah. Sounds like Kido-san was getting wined and dined by all sorts of people who wanted to profit off 89. From what I heard, not all those deals were above board. Secret deals, huh? Is Kido-san working with the Yakuza? Hashiki-san didn't give specifics, but he did say 89 could buy a lot of influence. And about the cut he'd be getting later. He seemed like a really shady guy, actually. Interesting. Oh, shit. Let me see you. Um, you remember a lot about Hashiko, huh? Did the name... Um, yeah, that one. Did the name came up? Um, Kajihira. Did you ever hear Hashiki mention a Kachihira? Kachihira? 
Yes. It's a big construction company based out of Kansai. Basically, Hashiki was working for this Kajihira, trying to shut down the ADDC. Wait, I thought Hashiki-san was super important, like vice director or something. He was. Kajihira's money was too much for him to refuse, though. Hmm. Either way, I, I don't remember hearing them talk about a Kajihira. Huh? How was he acting? How was Shono acting that night? It's a good floor? question too. Well, <laughs> he spent most of the night staring at my chest. Yep, the mix. Hashiki-san kept going on about Kito-san all the same, though. Maintain eye contact, Yagami-san. Excuse me. Shono-san seemed more interested in being a creep than indulging him. I don't. I didn't stare at her tits, you lady. You listening to Hashiki-san then? Nope. Didn't seem like it. <laughs> Disgruntled boss on one side, closet perv on the other. But then, Indeed. Out of the blue, Hashiki san said this. There's something fishy going on with 89. I just know it. Did he have any idea what it was? Um, what did he say again? Uh, something about fabrication or falsification? Data fabrication? Falsifying the effects of the drug? Yeah, that was it. He kept going on about how AD9 was too good to be true. And how weird it is that it just came out of nowhere. So he brought Shono to the club to try and figure out if AD9 was real. Right. What did Shono say? Just, there's nothing fishy about it. But then Hashiki-san yelled back, I don't believe that for a second. It was kind of awkward. Why is this music getting so intense? Makes sense. He'd be it's like, damn, we're solving the murder right away. Right. He promised this guy Kajihira he'd shut down the ADDC. Hmm. Um, you remember a lot about the guy? I gotta say, you remember a lot for a conversation that happened six months ago. Can you blame me? The poor man got beaten to death right afterward. That's a good point. I replay this a lot. Right. Sorry. Yeah, you didn't need to be a dick, my dude. I already knew about 89. See, my grandma has pretty bad Alzheimer's. So, I was hoping they'd release it to the public soon. I'm sure that made the conversation stick out to you. Yeah, when I heard Kitasan was just another slime ball, I don't know, kind of broke my heart. <sighs> Tragic. I can tell you really don't care because the way you said, oh, tragic. Uh -huh. Thanks for this, Mika chan. You must be exhausted. That's all of it? Yeah, you helped us more than you know. Can we buy Let's her see. a drink at least? Thank you. Uh, what time's your shift start tomorrow, Sarah? -san? Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm not coming back tomorrow. Huh? It was a one night thing. I got to see a side of myself I didn't know I had, though. Man, this stinks. You're Aww. so pretty, sorry son. And I was pumped to learn more from you. Okay. I don't think I have much left to teach. That's a shame. She actually liked her. As a friend. You're a lawyer? Let a badass lawyer. Trouble. Wow. I've never been friends with a lawyer before. This is like super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye now. That was amazing, sorry son. You really pulled through for us. It's I take fine. it you're gonna, Come you on. know, dress I'll back, you back to the, office. the way you I'll all. review what we learned with Hoshino Kun and the others. Sure. Can I take um the clothes back? Um, I pay a lot of money for them. I just thought maybe their return policy and all that. If I'm lucky, return policy. Because one, um, something's gonna happen. Wait a minute. She's following me? No. I thought something was gonna happen. I thought she was following. She is following me. Something's gonna happen because one, if they wanted me to just go into the lawyer office, I could have just done it. Two, she's following me from behind. I don't understand why. And three, I just feel like this is off, you know? This is off. This feels off. I feel worried. That's the correct word for you, yeah? Um. 
Um, where is this lawyer office? At least there's no enemies to attack us, too. You right in the office? The hell y'all doing here? Man, get the fuck out of here with that. You saw that man? He, he kind of tipped me off there. He thought he was going to be badass. I show him. Give me that cash, too. I have a million. Just a million. Everybody's here. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to push you. Hello, I'm back. Welcome back. You're so beautiful, sorry, son. Like a puppy. You should dress like that all the time, Sauri Goon. Yeah, good luck finding clients. I'm changing. Why do y'all have to make it sound awkward, man? This poor young lady. There's a good oh, chance Hashki's murder was premeditated, just like Chairman Kajihira suspected. That's the conclusion you and Saurikun reached. Yeah, Hashki thought something was up with Eighty Nine. Doubted the authenticity of the research. Seemed convinced they had fabricated data. He was desperately searching for proof before he died. But was there anything actually wrong with it? I tried analyzing the paper myself to find out, but it's like it was written in a different language. I'm searching for someone more knowledgeable as we speak, but nobody seems to suspect any foul play, not even online. Yet Hushki was still searching for issues, and if he had managed to find one... The ADDC would be long gone by now. Then they murdered Hushki to keep the secret safe? Don't be ridiculous. Who would kill a man just to protect a research paper? It might not be as unlikely as you think. The ADDC has been bringing in billions of government yen ever since they published that paper. With that much cash involved, bumping someone off wouldn't be out of the question. The question is, who killed Hashki? Mm, the culprit made this so Hashki wouldn't die immediately. You have to be pretty fucking skilled. A professional assassin. If like I legit. Had to guess. The man in the black raincoat. If he was an assassin, that would mean someone hired him. Yeah. Someone who wanted to protect 89 and the ADDC. But who? Can't begin to imagine. But apparently, Kido was out hyping up 89, raking in tons of dirty money in the process. Guy might even be involved with the Yakuza. You're really suspicious of him, Yagami san. Well, if it looks like a rat. Maybe Shintani got too close to the truth, and Kido offed him for it. The thought has crossed my mind. Don't think we can say that for sure without looking more into Kido, though. But judging from our last visit, that won't be as easy as you make it sound. Why not? He's practically a celebrity at this point. Well, oh yeah. Maybe if we can't get him to talk, the prosecutor's office can. Indeed. Huh? What do you mean? I've got a meeting with Izumita tomorrow calling me in isn't that the prosecutor who was trying to get you arrested he yeah he tends to he like wants. me that's what this meeting's about no chance in hell he agrees to help us then all depends no. on how this little chat goes if i can convince him i'm innocent i'll clear my name and put the squeeze on keto all in one fell swoop what are you planning yagami san i am not planning anything I have a diamond. I don't even know what the hell's going on. Meanwhile, you know what this game reminds me of? That game for the PS3. I yes, forgot what it's called. That salary son handle a cabaret, huh? I think it was Deadly Phantom. Something like that. But it was a really good game as well. Alright, we gotta go clear our name. Rest up at the detective agency. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, let's go do that. We're about to run into some bad guys, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where. I don't know when. By sense is approaching. I'm not sure when we're gonna get the last side quests as well. But at the moment, they really want us to progress on the story. We did everything that we could.
Excuse me. Hello. Move it, lady. I swear, I swear, I don't, I don't understand this man. They're like all in the way. Here I am. Okay, time to rest up. You should get some more security up in here. Actually, our cats will alert us. Since we got like 50 of them. It will alert us and then some. Yo. You just came got in here while I was sleeping? From Kuroiwa. Says to drop by the Tokyo Public Prosecutor's Office. Izumita is waiting for you. Why'd you have to come here to tell me that? Would have been easier to talk on the phone. I got a bad feeling about all this. Uh oh. Huh? Feels like I'm never gonna see you again if you what? get yourself locked up now. Come on, don't be like that. Even if I do get arrested, I won't say a word about your little side job. That's what you're worried about, right? Yep. I might have to send someone to bump you off in prison if you rat me out. <laughs> Like you could pull that off. Aren't you busy dusting off Kuroiwa's boots? I'm laying low, that's all. Speaking of, I have a question for you now that you're off your leash. Why do they think I killed Chintani? They have to have a reason, right? Indeed. You've got to know. Well, funny enough, I don't. Hmm. Kuroiwa won't share a shred of info with anyone. Well, if it's that guy that's the killer, Kuroiwa. Not sure why. Gotcha. He's trying to blame now, me a lot. Get over to the prosecutor's office. Sorry, but you gotta cover your own cab fare. <laughs> oh, thanks. I could just walk. Yeah, I know. I could just walk. But like I was saying, what if he's the killer? Oh man, do we have side missions now? No, we really got a progress. Hang on, let me so Ooh! Beef stew, hell yeah, man! You didn't know, you see, we fill up up. Our health went all the way up. Man, that's some good shit right there. It is. Protect the house, kitties! See? They will. Okay, now the game is gonna get intense. I feel. What in the hell? Oh, those are the cabs. I was like, wait a minute, what? How many quests did you want me to go up to? But yeah, I definitely feel like the game is about to get extremely intense. Really? Really? Right off the start? Really? Why is he like biting his ankles? You saw that? What the fuck? Why you do that? What? What? Okay, I need to go in here. Sorry, move. Okay, I need a taxi. Where would you like to go? Where do they want me to go? This one, right? Let's be on our way then. I've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Okay. Rolling out the red carpet, huh? I guess so. I was hoping you'd lower your guard if I was the first person you saw here. <laughs> the man never changes. He loves his mind games. Yagami-kun, how did they convince you to come? I heard your pal Izumita wants to chat. And depending on what I say, he may or may not try to arrest me. Mm. I'm not sure it'll be quite like that. Huh? Then what's it gonna be? Well, you're about to get thrown to the wolves. Hey, Mafuyu. Good luck. Excuse me. I've brought Yagami-san. Much appreciated. Huh. Even the chief prosecutor's in on this. Please, come in.
I'm feel quite intense about this. So these are the wolves. A room full of prosecutors, huh? Yagami Sensei. I believe Kuroiwa san already told you this. But we want to talk to you about Shintani Sensei's murder. However, this is not a courtroom. And we're not strangers. Or wolves. Just try to relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, relax, right. I'm not telling you what you want to hear, though. You want me to say I killed Shintani, right? Sorry, not happening. <laughs> the burden of proof's on you, anyway. So why don't we start there? Why do you think I did it? Yagami-sensei. Where were you on the night of Shintani-sensei's murder? Answer my question with another question? <laughs> That's not very nice. Do you have an alibi for that evening? You heard of a company called KJ Art? The place is a front for some Kansai Yakuza, the Kyore clan. On the night of the crime, I was near there with their captain, Shioya. He'll back my story up, I'm sure. And care to explain why Shintani Sensei's corpse was found in your office? I was hoping you could tell me. Maybe the real killer could answer that for you. Naturally. That's why I called you here. Damn it, they have no intention of listening to what I have to say from the start. I interject. Go right ahead, Morita-san. Yagami-san, you stole a look at Shintani-sensei's call history before the police arrived, yes? Not long before his death, he placed a call to the Advanced Drug Development Center. Knowing that, you barged into the center and interrogated both Kido-san and Shono-san. Why would you do such a thing? I wanted to figure out what made Shintani a target. Who wanted him dead? Is that not the police's job? I couldn't leave it to them. Or the prosecution. After all, you guys have a bad habit of going after the wrong guy. Kinda like right now. I see. So you mean to imply someone else killed Shintani-sensei? Do you have anything that could prove that claim? Oh shit! Oh, I'll do it. What the burden of proof is on the prosecution. That's why I'm here. Do you have anything that could prove the claim? I'll do it. What? What is that? I'll do it. I don't understand what the fuck that is. The burden of proof is on the prosecution. That's why I'm here. I'll do it. Do I have any proof? I'll do it. I don't know what that means, but my gut is telling me to press that. I'll do it. You want proof? I think I can find it. This better not be a waste of time. <laughs> Funny. I could have said the same thing when you drove oh, me here. Yes. Please begin. Oh shit! Oh shit, okay. Okay, this is to my benefits too. This way I can find out how the prosecution see the case. Before we get to Shintani's murder, there are oh, a shit. few things I need to cover. Oh shit, you One got me fuck ago, up. The ADDC published a research paper on a new drug they were developing called AD9. This drug has gained global recognition as the thing that may finally cure Alzheimer's disease. What hasn't gained recognition is the fact that someone from the ADDC was murdered six months ago. An ADDC member murdered? Who? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, wait, wait, remember, come on now. Remember, Jack. It was Hashiki, right? It was the Hashiki guy. And he said a couple of months kill. I know it's the name of who was killed six months ago. Wasn't it... What's in the- Oh, shit! What's in the- Hashiki? Hashiki! Oh, shit! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I gotta think really good about this one. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, it's fine. 
Uh, okay, it wasn't a nurse. There was no way in hell it was. Wait, was it a nurse? No, it wasn't a nurse. There's no way it was a nurse. Oh shit. Um, director. No, it wasn't the director. At least they're not telling me to, you know, like hurry up. I could think about this. Oh my god, man. I can't check my phone either. Because he's holding the phone. Oh shit. I feel like it's the. Oh shit. <laughs> I feel like it's Hashiki, cause didn't we just did that? I can't just risk that. I can't just risk that. I got. I gotta think. I'm gonna go with this one. I feel like it's this one. The vice director, Toru Hashiki. Hashiki was seen arguing with a strange man in Kamurocho before being found lying beaten in the street. He died in the hospital three weeks later. The culprit is still at large. Did you know of this case? It's the first I've heard of it. Understandable. It didn't make many headlines. Incidentally, this Hashki guy had a pretty big secret. Uh-huh. Turns out he was working for the Kajihira Group, a massive construction company based out of Kansai. Kajihira was planning to redevelop the land the ADDC sits on. He'd already settled it with the Minister of Health, had the Kyore clan muscle in on the turf too. But the plan fell apart when AD9 was announced. Kajihira ended up taking a pretty big hit. To the tune of a hundred billion yen. What? That's when Hashiki came in, swearing to Kajihira that he'd scuttle 89, no matter what it took. <sighs> Just before he was beaten half to death, Hashiki went out with another member of the ADDC. Someone deeply involved in the development of 89. Someone he thought he could manipulate. Who was the ADCC? I mean, ADDC. That kill, I mean, that Hashki met with before he got killed. Uh, can you show me the names? Uh, um, who was with Hashki? It wasn't the fucking nurse, that's one. Uh, but the other two, however, that, 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 that's a good one. I don't remember that one. I feel like it was a scientist, but I don't know. I gotta think good. I know I did this, so I just gotta think. Who was the one that did it? No, I think it was the scientist, because it's not the director. How the hell is going to be the director? I think it was the scientist, dude. Please be right. Okay, we got sure it. Nice. Oh, movie. no more. No more. Three years ago, Please. he testified about the murder that had taken place at the ADDC. Don't ask me any more questions. He claimed he had seen the victim, a patient by the name of Waku, still alive. I remember him. You're referring to Dr. Shono? Mm-hmm. He's also the head of the 89 research team. Hashiki was grilling Shono convinced that there was something fishy going on with 89. Like what? He thought they had fabricated data and falsified the effects of the drug. After all, it wasn't until rumors of closing the ADDC started swirling that director Kido suddenly announced 89. Hashiki was convinced it was all too convenient to be coincidence. But that doubt didn't sit well with those who stood to rake in massive profits off 89's development. 
Are you implying Hashki's murder was premeditated? <laughs> Sounds like we're finally on the same page, Izumita-san. I had the exact same thought. <sighs> Taking all this into account, doesn't it seem like there really is something fishy about 89? Hmm. I hope they don't ask me any more questions. Oh, please don't. They should do that should do it for the explanation. Oh, okay. Now to bring this full circle. To be honest with you, I never trusted that scientist guy in the first place. I always felt like he was completely way off. But let's get back to Shintani. Just before he was murdered, he called the ADDC and tried to get in touch with a very specific someone. Maybe that phone call provoked whoever is trying to hide the truth about 89. Shintani was an obstacle, just like Hashki. He had to be removed. What I'm saying is, there's a chance anyone who gets too close to learning the true nature of 89 is being murdered. And if you haven't investigated down that path, then one thing's pretty clear. You have a lot more work to do before you can arrest me. Wouldn't you say? Answer me, Izumita! you still want to bring me in, let's see some proof. All these prosecutors, and nobody's got any proof. Indeed. That's quite a theory, Yagami-san. Truly fascinating. There were details in there even we weren't aware of. You've clearly done your homework. I'd be glad to hand over my findings if it'll help. After all, 89's practically a household name at this point. Lifting the lid on it might be too much for me to handle all on my own. And besides, I think I'd rather work with you than Izumita here. Oh. Oh, cutscene. Oh shit. You need to lose the attitude, Yagami. Sorry, I need to take this. Yes, hello? Sus. Is that so? Yes, you've done excellent work. Thank you. You need some chastics, dude. Just so you're aware, the prosecution has made a coordinated effort with law enforcement. We've already submitted a request for the court to issue a warrant. I'm sorry for the call, but that was the verification of our request, you see. You're still gonna arrest me after all this, huh? Fortunately, you're not the one under arrest. What? I wouldn't celebrate. We're not done with you just yet. It's in the interest of closing the case. Listen here, Yagami. You know who Shintani's killer was? It's your old friend, Ayabe. What? 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 Striations on the recovered bullet. Are a perfect match to his firearm. There's no doubt. He's the one. <laughs> like it or not, he's going down. I think it's you. All the scientists. I obey is the killer? That's impossible. That is impossible. Where's my side missions at? I need more details. Chapter 8 already? Oh shit, previously on judgment. In the roaring din of the city, the death of the ADDC's vice director hardly made a sound. Behind his death are the vast profits of the AD9 drug. Yagami arrives at the possibility that all the deaths were premeditated. But the prosecution's eye for such detail is wanting. And Detective Ayabe is indicted for Shintani's murder. Damn, they put the new one on um, very cheap, you know, the new Judgment game. I found it on eBay for like 12 to $9 and all that. Striations on the recovered bullet are a perfect <laughs> match to his firearm. There's no doubt. He's the one. <laughs> like it or not, he's going down. Okay, well, good luck with that. Apologies for keeping you in the dark. 
It was imperative for Ayabe to be completely oblivious to our suspicions of him, after all. This is a murder charge against an active officer. To put it plainly, it takes more effort to actually make an arrest. So, we had to pretend you were our primary suspect. You and Ayabe have gotten to be pretty cozy these days. Suspecting you was the perfect way to divert his attention. I see. So this was all some kind of act. An act? Not at all, I assure you. And I believe you should know. We're aware of Ayabe's side job. I believe that. Ayabe was an informant. A spy. He was selling police intel on the black market. Indeed, I need some more money back. those transactions thoroughly, Yagami-san. And so, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if we see you again in the near future. Speak of the devil. We were just talking about you, Ayabe-san. Listen, Yagami, you gotta help. Someone set me up. They're saying I killed Shitani. Me. Me. Uh-huh. You're not surprised? Not quite. I already heard. I'm sitting here with the prosecution as we speak. Huh? Yeah. They're looking right at me. Please. Yagami, you have to take my case. I don't know where else to turn. Okay, I'll do it. It's only fair after all you've done. Oh shit. We can talk more later. I'll be there soon. Oh so, shit. I'll see you in court then. Who do you have on the job? Izumita? Should be a good time. Someone is using you, prosecutor. No matter who that person is, I'm not losing. Oh shit! So that's the story, Kenda Sensei. We're gonna take the case. Uh, of course we are. Anyway, you're gonna go talk to Ayabi, right? I'll send Hoshino Kun along. Yep, I'm heading over right now. Oh shit! <laughs> Things are getting good, man! Shit! Leave it to the study, Chris, to be juicy as hell. Honestly, wait, um, Hashino should have, I mean, should have made the, oh shit, I couldn't read it that quick. He should have made the arrangement, basically. <clears throat> okay, let us go and do the rest of the story mission. We're going to do one more story mission, well, because we only have a little bit of time left, and then we'll have to end the day, unfortunately. Wait, do we have a new ally? We do the side missions. <gasps> Let's go see who the new ally is. Hello. Stay a while and listen. We're going to be the beef keeper. Hey, ready as always. How business these days, Kim? Well, to be honest, it's a little bit for little customers have gone over to the day on the corrupt leader. Well, they're pretty popular. Hey. Can you think of anything that will help us stay competitive? Mm -hmm. I'm sure if I can just make it rain ideas, but I'll try. First off, what is um, Kenrin really known for the, for the first place? Let's see, it's a high-end wrestler, so it's probably more geared towards entertaining clients of or fancy dates. And rather than making a big fancy menu, they stick to a small selection of only the choices meats on the market. They don't seem to do anything unreported or one put for uh, as business either. Gotcha. Was that information mm. helpful? Well, yeah, let me think here. I 
A family, is she just a family special? She just adding desserts. Why not expand the dessert menu? That way you'll attract more families with young kids as well as groups of girls. Helps give that menu a nice touch. <laughs> well, you really know your stuff, young me. You sure wasn't invested in the manager before. Feels like I always say that. Well, will my amateur advice really make a difference in the long run? Guess I'll find out soon enough. That was quick. Can I go back in now? No, okay, I have to wait. Well, we have side missions, which is always a great thing, basically. A side mission right here. We go now to our story on Tassiro Gamo, the escape convict from the prison. Convicted of murdering a member of a criminal organization three years ago. His sentence has only just begun. However, people are calling for caution after he was found to have escaped at dawn on the 5th of the last month. According to reporters released by Tokyo PD today, there was a reason to believe he may be sheltering in Kamichiro. Authorities are asking that any sighting of this guy be reported immediately in urgent citizens to take prosecution. It is worth nothing that there is a uh, one mil, one hundred, I mean one mil and two hundred thousand yen for info that leads to his capture. Okay, yikes! Another day in the life here in Kamichiro, huh? Would suck to run into that guy, but for a reward that big, probably worth keeping an eye out at least. Okay, well. On the bright side, we have side missions. Which is awesome. Because I love side missions. Who's over here? Do I know you? Um, Yagami, have you seen Toshiki by any chance? No, I haven't seen something. What's wrong? I came shopping with her, but we got separated. Huh? That's concerning. Ah! Was that a scream? That was her! I think it came from the back alley! Let's go! Okay, here I go. Isn't this the back alley? What the hell is the back alley? I thought that was the back alley over there, but it didn't work. Is it here? What the hell is that? Ew. Oh my god. Oh no, another pervert. What the hell do you do to her? Peace, friends, I assure you. I'm just a perfectly innocent gentleman. Oh my god. I can't stop looking. I can't stop looking. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I simply wanted to introduce the young lady to my sweet innocent son. What kind of gentleman looks like you? I don't, don't want to see this. I'm just going to let her say that because that sounds about right. Who are you? A twisted trio copycat? How dare you put me in the same league as those dumbasses, sir? I'm the prince of perverts, the emperor of the. Oh, oh God, bear with me. Oh, hell to the no, bear with me. That's a long. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay. Ex extra bishop missional? That's good enough. Fuck that. Giant impact, man. Giant impact. The perfect king. 
What in the hell is going on? I could have been Yagami! He's the newest permit to stay in the streets of Kamashiro! Ho ho ho! I see my reputation precedes me. Let me go over here with my ass cheeks. Uh, hey, wait! Are you okay? Are you alright? Did he hurt you? I'm okay, he just showed me his janitors. That's all. That piece of shit! How dare he show my innocence into his junk! We should file a police report, you two. Well, y'all should do that. I had to go track down the perfect man. I don't know what to say about that. There's not really much I could say. Not really much I could say at all. At all. Any clues how that perfect found you? No idea. He came out of nowhere and threw back his coat and he was naked underneath. So you saw it? The whole thing? The whole shebang thing? Yeah, oh my god, try not to look. That motherfucker, what kind of monster goes around showing the poor girls he peckled? Reminds me of the time me and uh, she could accidentally saw our father when he was... Hey, let's not... Okay. I take it he earned his name Giant Impact, right? Yeah, he's a flesh face in the previous in the pivot scene. Somehow he figures that he'll find her of all the people. I guess uh okay. Uh ex herbishnish was bound to be the next on the list. Yeah, lots of rumor about this guy lately. People are too embarrassed to say his name, so they call him GI. But I'm curious, was was he really that big? Will you say he was the biggest or, or smaller than that? Why in the hell am I reading? Let me think. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to think about that. That's just, don't be gross. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh, um, how notorious is this guy at this point? Is he on par with the Twisted Trio? So the people seem to think he was their leader. That's why he's called himself the Emperor. Ah, the Emperor. Come on. Well, the street is that he's really massive down there, so he delivers kind of a fan base of would-be pervs. I guess you have to be pretty big to call yourself an emperor, huh? Yagami-san! Yagami! You're not going to let this monster keep whipping his thing, whipping his thing out in public, are you? I guess not, but, um... Then it's said I'll for even fun you this! The usual 50,000! You have to avenge your innocent man! She haven't have a dick in years, man! I can't! Oh, jeez! Alright, alright, I'm on the case, chill. Great, great. But any ideas how you catch this one? Let's see here. We need to try to put predict where he's going to show himself next. You seem to have this guy number. Any idea where he's been? Naturally! <laughs> My poor sister is a perfect magnet, so I had to stay up to date on this nonsense. Why is this all about me that draws every person in the city in my direction? Anyway, I'll say the largest concentration of sightings were on the streets and over here. That's where the panty professor and ass catcher was active too. In fact, I think those turfs opens up, opened up is what gives GI he's in. They have turfs? Yeah, apparently the Twisted Trio heated up other perverts would try to muster in their territories. Why do perverts have such a, 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 an interest in social thing? But if he's, um, yeah, whatever that hell that is, can be traced. Why hasn't he been caught yet? That's the thing. It seems he's moved on once or he caused enough of a commotion in one area. I see. I guess he's pretty cautious despite his appearance. Hmm. If we can analyze his pattern, we might be able to figure out where he'll go next. Great idea, Yagami. Let's put our thinking caps on. Where will he go next? Suspicious. How about here? This was the area Panic Professor worked in. There are already reports of him appearing there, so there's probably out. Hmm. It's true. So G.I. has already exceeded that. Next ideal place would probably what be... How about here? Oh no! My butt! There are the phantom hands of my ass! Yeah, I mean, that's the place my brother was groped. Alright. Oh, it sends shivers up my spine or down my body. Is it that bad either way? I'm sorry, it sounds like you're pretty traumatized. Anyway, GI has been solid in that area, so he probably wouldn't pop up again, Dale. That's true. So GI has already win here. Let's see what else. Suspicious. 
Hotel district? That feel like a good one. Yes, G.I. is taking advantage of the twisted tree of empty turf, which means just creeping peep. Old stomping ground is ripe for the taking right now. Oh, I see. You really smell, Yagami. I guess I'll stake out the hotel district for a few and see what I find. Thank you. I look forward for the report. Alrighty then. That happened. Hmm? Who's this from? You're gonna be cut quick. One of my friends got hurt really bad by the leader who say he's looking for you. He got his whole crew here, so please be careful. But I believe in you. I believe you can save us. Crap, what do I do? Alright, let's get out of here. Let me go beat this guy up really quick. And then after that, we will have to end the deal. That's a nice, nice little outro right there. <coughs> Here we go. It's you. You're new. Oh, oh, for you, young me. This is my first Christian. I'm going to give you a nice big reward. Nice big reward. I'm going to have to make sure to take you with me. Oh, oh, show time. There we go. Oh shit, he's gonna go super sane. Oh shit, what are you doing? Oh, okay. That lady must be having a nice time behind you because she's making all the types of noises. Oh shit. Hey, that should have worked. Here we go. Alright guys, for now, this time... Oh, there's three of them now. Alright guys, for now, this time... I mean, for now... For this time, I mean, for now, it will have to be it for now. Next time, we're going to try to do the rest of the side missions to see how they go. As for now, I do hope y'all enjoy as much as I did. And I hope each and every one of you have a lovely night or day, depending where you are. And remember, I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.